Hi everyone, so today I wanted to speak about some sensitive for someone topic. It's called um, to manual or not to manual. So do you actually need to use the manual or some people tell you RTFM, so read the manual. But um, I'll tell, I will show you some of the tricks that you can actually use to help yourself much faster uh, with trying to find the answers about magic cure rather than posting on a Facebook, try, uh, waiting for the answer, being or being upset if someone tells you to RTFM. It's the same method I've I've used to actually learn the magic cue. So I would say uh, about 50% um, of the magic you actually learned using the manual myself. So again, I don't ask the questions all the time from my colleagues and they are absolutely helpful. Everyone is happy to help, but let me show you how you can uh, improve your the speed of uh, of programming and also learning how to find the answers on some of the, some maybe basic questions uh using the facilities the tools that magic key provides to you so first of all of course it's the manual so the something that some people don't want to read don't want to uh don't want to look at because they think it might be like really hard to use but in reality it's quite easy to use so i'm using on my mac so i can press the um, uh, spotlight search i'll type magic q cool and it's a magic key pdf file so when it opens up for you, what you do is in your preview, just type here the question, like the, 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 any, any word that you think may help you to find something. Like for example, shortcuts. Uh, Magic has got tons of shortcuts, and if you know them, you can actually master the desk much, much faster. So you, it finds you all the relevant options, but like this one, if you open the page 384, the mysterious, in the mysterious uh, manual, you will actually find a chapter 48 that says magic shortcuts. And it can actually tell you how to do it and what to do. Like, um, for example, if you want to select uh, heads one to four, it tells you one through four at at, and that's, you will be able to do it much faster. Sometimes people ask uh, how to do lamp on, lamp off. Okay, uh, of course it tells you lamp on entire rig, press the macro button and then lamp on on all, or lamp on, on, lamp on selected heads. So you'll select a bunch of heads, you hold shift and press like eight. Again, you're saving yourself at least two, three button presses and, and so on and so forth. So uh, the manual actually gives you a lot, a lot, a lot um, of new information. For example, if you're, on a, if you're not sure, someone tells you, oh, how about UDP protocol? What is it? You don't know. So you can type UDP, Press, uh, press enter, and it's gonna find you controlling magic using TCP IP or UDP protocol. I recently did a video tutorial and how I learned how to do it before I did actually a video tutorial for all of you to watch, I opened the manual and I found it here. So I've read it and it's, it's honestly, it's much, much faster to actually do it. But again, everything I show you now here, it's not a replace, it's not full replacement for possibility to ask the question, um, on Facebook, uh, on the contrary, is just another tool for you. Maybe you don't have internet access or you like, yeah. So the, this is where the manual is gonna be helpful. Or like the other much faster option for you might be this. So let's say you're in a magic queue and uh, you're going to the setup and there's so many options here and you actually don't know what they do. So what you can do is if you click on any of the menus, let's say even, IP, so it says IP address, what's the IP address? So then there's a button here called help. You press this and it will bring you the pages of the manual and on the top is gonna to be the answer to your to that line. It says the console store TCP IP address on the, uh, uh, there, there, there. So it shows you all the relevant information to the question you asked over here. So again, another time, uh, if you go to any other option, let's say you go to um, timecode decode. What's the timecode decode? You press help and it brings you the picture with the explanation, what it does, how it does, etc. So a lot of information here. So instead of you going into the uh, a manual PDF and trying to find the words that are relevant, just find this menu, find this menu in a setup not sure what it what it does select it it says continue uh, time code continue frames what it what does it do 
press help and it's going to bring you the correct uh, part of the menu so this is what i'm showing you on the on the software interface and also um like mq500 does have the help button dedicated but if you're running on the consoles like um mk40 60 80 etc and if you're looking for this button it's basically located on the q store button underneath you should have the sign the title says help so in order to get to that help option there the under the grand uh, grandmaster that's on the bottom of it there's a button called alt so a alt yeah i'm going to post the picture here how it looks like and what other button to press so if you press on uh, on the alt button and you press on the q store basically it will open like it will uh, load the low uh, the help button so again it's quite simple go to any menus you're not sure about click on the help and it will find you the answer for you again if you want to search within this inbuilt uh, magic Q to uh, the um magic q manual you can always go to search type in the words and it's going to find it for you again um so this video is designed to actually help you out and just trying to find the answers much faster but again if it's the complex question if it's something that is not obviously on the surface and you want to and you want to find out feel free absolutely i insist you must uh, uh, put the question on the facebook and one of us will be able to help you that's all for the day. Thank you very much and bye.